Today's scripture reading begins in verse 1 of Psalm 57. Be gracious to me, O God, be gracious to me, for my soul takes refuge in you. And in the shadow of your wings I will take refuge until destruction passes by. I will cry to God Most High, to God who accomplishes all things for me. He will send from heaven and save me. He reproaches him who tramples upon me. God will send forth his loving kindness and his truth. When you face a crisis, what is your first line of defense? The natural response is to attempt to fix the problem on your own. God, however, gives those of us who are believers a different way to handle difficulty. David was no stranger to pressure or sudden appearances of evil. When he wrote Psalm 57, he was facing many hardships, including pursuit by King Saul, who wanted to kill him. The shepherd's response was to cry out to God and take refuge in him until the calamity had passed. Let's learn from David's example by exploring his words. Today's passage has much to teach about the one to whom he cries. First, David refers to God as El Elyon, or the Most High God. With all power and wisdom, He is the only one who can truly help us in our need. Second, God is said to be our refuge. Since He is the place of shelter for our soul, we need not fear. He hovers over us and protects us when crises arise and leave us feeling helpless. Third, the psalm expresses complete confidence that the Almighty can and will accomplish anything it takes for His purpose to be fulfilled. He'll do whatever is necessary to intervene on our behalf, to hold accountable those who oppose us, and to surround us with His love and enlighten us with His truth. During His time on earth, Jesus brought great passion to His life and ministry, and we can approach Him when emotions run high. If your heart is troubled, cry out to the Lord. Know that you come before the throne of the one who is a powerful protector, capable and willing to do all he knows you need.